Good morning from Puerto Rico. I had had an amazing time on the Jewel of the Seas. If you have not checked those videos out, be sure to do that after you watch this one. But I'm back in Puerto Rico. My flight does not leave until about 7 p.m. tonight. So I decided to buy an excursion. It cost $80 that we would visit old and new San Juan. So I thought, let me go ahead and document while I'm here once again, since I didn't do it the first time. If you're interested in something like that, then stay tuned. Rokia, also known as Miss Queen Row. I am a full-time entrepreneur working as a brand strategist, part-time digital content creator, and I'm excited because I'm finally going to go see a little bit more of Puerto Rico. Here is our bus, the one that will be on the whole time, and she is going to take us through ins and outs before we have to get back to the airport around 1230. Paseo Caribe, those are luxury apartments. You know, what is the price starting? One apartment there, over $700,000. Paseo Caribe to the right side, luxury, luxury. 200 beaches, 200. Wow. And you see the line of cars, right? The car, now a lot of people uh, going to park to enjoy a beautiful day. You see also, uh, there's a surfer right here with his surfboard to the left side. Wow, Isn't that a beautiful view, my friends? Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, my friends, the old city is also known as the wall city. Love because it's all surrounded by walls. The name is La Perla, very Pinterest. Water. You see yeah. Pinterest. My friends, do you remember the, the song Despacito? Yes. Okay, the video was filmed right there. Okay, it was for the walls. We have the sentry boxes. Look at that, another one over there. Okay, those sentry boxes, the name in Spanish, garita. That's the name of those sentry boxes. Of those garitas, yeah. that's what the Spanish soldiers look out for the enemy ships coming to San Juan. So when they saw an enemy ship, they can prepare to fight back. We're walking up to a cemetery, one of the major cemeteries in Puerto Rico. In this cemetery, the prominent people are buried here. So like politicians, celebrities, singers, performers, things like that. It's just very packed in this one, but you can tell that it's, it would have been for prominent people because it's right here by the ocean. And of course, one of the stops you're always gonna find vendors that you can get foods and here's some juices right here. Thank you very much. You should uh, practice your Spanish. you've been looking at has been still old San Juan. We haven't even made it to new San Juan yet. So all the buildings and the colors and the cobblestone, all of that is old San Juan. So we have a stop here to where we are about to see this famous fountain. Let's see what this is all about. All right. This group of sculptures symbolizes the roots that gave birth to Puerto Rico's cultural heritage. Sails through the waves like a ship that has it both steel Steed emerging from the sea with a strong, vigorous pace, planted on a terra firm. Ah. The dolphin, stylishly out through the waters in friendship, playful, intelligent. The, the female figure at the island's portal, incoming ships were sighted, and from whence she can greet the garlands. Okay. All right, so every little thing represents something. Centennial, the discovery of 
of America and the inauguration of this parliament. Interesting. Yeah, to the left could be called the main spout board, Sorry, the family. Yeah. To the right, the habaro, yeah. deeply rooted in the language rhythm, folklore. The middle, the vessel as the main goddess. All right, the fountain was designed by architect Miguel Carlo and built by E.R. de Moro of San Juan, Puerto Rico, under the administration of Honorable Rafael Hernandez. Everybody, don't go to the sculptures are artistic creation and work of Luis Sangrino from Spain. It began in November 91 and finished and unveiled in May 30th, 1992, in commemoration of the fifth centennial of Discovery of America. Inauguration of this promenade. Nice. Yeah. The teacher's monument, right here, you see in Spanish, Los Maestros, that means teacher. Okay, or again, this plaza, that's a square, Plaza del Maestro. And I'm here, I'm going to slow down. So, okay, this one is wow, so unique. You know, the Holocaust, the Holocaust Memorial Monument. Okay? 85. Point seven cents. That's the right price. Aha! Right that was fast. Uh, you're right. You're right. That's a liter. So when you make the com eighty-five cents a liter, so when you make the conversion to gallon, that would be approximately three dollars and forty cents, three dollar forty-five cents a gallon. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's about the same as in the states, or it's yeah, cheap here. About the same. It's about the same. Uh, well, I haven't been there in a week. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw mixed we because just presidential left old area. San Juan. We are now in New business, San Juan. Threat and 10 miles long, 35 miles wide. In the north, we have the Atlantic Ocean. In the south, the Caribbean Sea. Okay, the three most important cities of Puerto Rico are San Juan that of course San Juan is the capital of Puerto Rico. The second important city is Ponce, that's it's in the south. And the third important city, Mayagüez, that's it's in the west wow. side. Mayagüez is where we have the very important engineering school. The population of Puerto Rico, the population is approximately 3.5 million people 3.5 million with approximately one and a half million in the metropolitan area puerto rico was discovered by christopher columbus in 1493 since 1493 through 1898 puerto rico was part of spain and then in 1898 Puerto Rico became part of the United States. The reason the Spanish American War. Here in Puerto Rico, we speak Spanish and English. Spanish is our main language, and English our second language, and the official money of Puerto Rico since 1898 has been the US dollar. So you can tell the difference with Old San Juan and New San Juan. New San Juan almost looks like New York or some type of city. That's the difference. Uh, there's plenty of shops, although we're still by the water over here too. And little things to eat and things like that. September 2217 mm. and I'm mentioning to you Maria because even that's already six years and the island has the island has been recovered but there are still you know remnants of Maria for example you see the building to the left side that was such a very mm -hmm. important you know business that never right. opened 
you know, and I will never forget that even one week after Maria hit Puerto Rico, all this looked like that the ocean was here. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, the flood was so severe. My friends, Hurricane Maria was a category five hurricane, and the island felt the winds of Maria for about 13 hours. Wow. That was the reason wow. that there was so much damage, so much destruction. Yeah, but you know, mm -hmm. but the thing is that mm -hmm. the island has been recovered mostly. 